turned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. I don't have a husband to help me. I'm 46 years old and I still need my mama. It sucks. Being single and I'm 46 sucks. And I'm fucking tired. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, man. Um, I'm sure that y'all want to hear me talk about the wall and how the wall is undefeated. And yeah, I mean, look, it it it, it definitely works uh, for this <laughs> for this video. Like this chick is definitely realizing that the wall is here. The wall done hit. She 46 and she is. She's done like she is done. But what I think is that, you know, she is probably because um, she's not a bad looking chick. Right. She's not bad looking. Right. I think it's just probably her attitude. I think it's probably her attitude. Her emotional level gives me the impression that in regular life, like on a regular day when she's talking to somebody, she got a little bit of extra sassy energy to her or she may have a little bit more of a masculine type of opinionated forcefulness to her. Right. Where she's trying to compete with men right so that's probably what's keeping her single because a lot of times it's the attitude right it's the attitude because look guys the dudes that we know a lot of times holla at anything right they don't got to be dimes they don't got to be the most beautiful women in the world they don't have to be a certain age you will know and i know that women of all ages size and shapes get attention from men period so the fact that she's single and on here crying then it has to be her attitude because overall she's not a bad looking chick. Like she's not, you know, terribly ugly or, you know, super obese that she can't get out her house and all that type of stuff. Right. She's not a bad looking chick, but it has to be her attitude and the way she's dressed and, you know, the subtle things about her demeanor give me the impression that she has a certain attitude that repels men. And, you know, that's her own fault. She has to learn how to be relatable. She has to learn how to be agreeable to some extent, right? Because here's the thing with relationships that a lot of people don't realize and understand. And it's not, it's not a societal thing. It is a natural thing, meaning nature has decided it so. Men are the leaders. Men are the leaders. There are a lot of women out there who do not want to accept that fact and they cannot humble themselves enough to find a man that can lead them. Many times in situations like this, you find a woman like this, she's 46 years old and she's still single. Chances are she's had a couple of men in her life that wanted to lead her, that wanted to be her husband, that wanted to be the man in her life. But for whatever reason, she couldn't agree or she couldn't trust in that man's leadership. Well, and maybe, you know, maybe it was the fault of the men because, you know, me, I, I always put the accountability and all the power in the hand of the man. So maybe those men weren't as consistent as they needed to be. But to some extent, she has to understand that she needs to humble herself, too, and be willing to follow a man's lead. That's very important in relationships. Right. So that brings me to understanding your masculine identity and understanding how to lead women. And I talk about that a great deal in my masculine identity membership. And right now I'm offering something so crazy that I'm allowing guys to get on my masculine identity membership for one dollar, just one dollar. You understand? Because I really feel the information on there can help guys. Right. I just want you to access the information to see the information. All you got to do is pay one dollar. Right. So once you get in and you see the information, if you think the information is helpful, then you can stay on a membership. If you don't, then you can cancel your membership. But I got so much information on there and I think it would really help guys to understand who they are as men, understand how to be consistent, understand how to find value in who they are in their masculine identity. So there'll be less women like this running around crying that they're 46 and single. You understand? She should be getting some good dick and leadership at this point in her life. She should be happy. All right. I want, I want it. Don't you want to see this woman happy? I want to see this woman happy. So get on the masculine identity membership today so we can learn how to be the best men, be consistent. So there is no semi decent looking 46 year old women out here crying that they don't have no good leadership or good dick. All right. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember the truth is inside you. Peace.